Hey, this is Dr. Ken Berry, family physician with almost 20 years of clinical experience. And in this short video, I wanna discuss with you a condition, a disease that I'm very, very passionate about. I've had family members suffer from this and actually go blind from this disease. You may have family members who are suffering from either the early stages or the, the, the moderate or advanced stages of age-related macular degeneration. I think this is so vital to talk about this because so many patients are misled into what they should and shouldn't do when it comes to macular degeneration. And I actually think the, the name age-related macular degeneration is misleading and gives the impression that there's nothing you can do to prevent this. As you get older, you're gonna get it. And so macular degeneration is the most common cause of blindness in adults in all of modern society. Whereas 100, 110 years ago, it almost didn't exist. How's that possible? Uh, are we getting that much older than we used to get? Are our genetics getting worse? Do we have some kind of supplement deficiency? These are the things we're gonna address. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some extra things to look up and to watch that are gonna give you a depth and a breadth of knowledge about macular degeneration that many optometrists and ophthalmologists don't even have. Please, if you know someone who has the early or moderate stages of macular degeneration, please share this with them on Facebook. You can send it in an email or a text message. There's multiple ways you can share this to help me reach them because once you've gotten to the advanced stage of macular degeneration and you've lost some rods and cones, your blindness is permanent. There's really no way we can turn that around. But if we catch someone in the early stages or the, or the moderate stages, we can actually stop this disease in its tracks and maybe even partially reverse it. So please share this. If you know someone, share it with your optometrist or your ophthalmologist because they honestly may not be aware of this information. <clears throat> now, as I said earlier, macular degeneration used to be very, very rare, almost unheard of. And so the first thing that most eye doctors and most people would say, well, yeah, 100 years ago, we didn't have the technology to look at the back of the eye, the macula. We didn't have that technology, but that's actually not true at all. Since the late 1800s, doctors have been able to dilate the human eye very, very well. They had four or five different things they could use to do that with. We've had ophthalmoscopes that we could use even back in the late 1800s that were very, very modern and advanced, that we could study the back of the eye, the macula, the retina in great detail. There are thousands of images that have been created by doctors looking at the back of the human eye back in the early, early 1900s. So this argument falls flat now. And in all honesty, many doctors, many ophthalmologists just don't know this. They think that we only developed this modern technology in the last 40 or 50 years. And that's a big reason that we have such a high diagnosis rate of macular degeneration these days, and that's just not the case. The second big argument is that it's genetic. You, If you have a family member or you have the genetics for macular degeneration, then you're just doomed. You're gonna get it. Uh, there, there is a, a gene called the complement factor H on chromosome one. If you have that gene, then you are at a tiny increased risk of it. Even if you have that gene on both of your uh, chromosome ones. You are, have a little higher rate, but it's still a tiny, tiny rate. Actually, what uh, complement factor H does is it makes your the macula and the back part of the eye, the very tiny microscopic parts of the eye, makes them much more prone to inflammation, but it doesn't cause the inflammation. That's a key thing to understand, okay? So even if you have the genetics, you are not destined, you are not doomed to go blind from macular degeneration. Something else is causing this. Then the next thing you hear is, well, it's just age related. That's, it's in the name. The older you get, the more likely you are to get it. And that is true. You don't see age related macular degeneration in, in adolescents or teenagers, absolutely true. But here's the problem. There are actually cultures where people live to be very, very old and they have almost no macular degeneration in their society whatsoever. And they have ophthalmoscopes, they have optometrists, they have ophthalmologists, 
but there's just no macular degeneration. So something else must be going on. So to sum up what I just said, the genes definitely play a part, no doubt. Age definitely plays a part, no doubt. But we've had the technology to look at these retina for over 100 years. So what else is going on? So then when you start looking at population data and you start looking at geographical data, what you're going to find is, is that where people live the longest, where they have the highest life expectancy, now, if age-related macular degeneration were all about just getting older, then you would think these populations would have a very high rate of macular degeneration because they're living to be very, very old. But what you'll find is that the exact opposite is true. And that, that, that may surprise you. You're like, wait a minute, I thought getting older caused it. No, getting older makes you more likely to have it, but it's something else causing it. We've already talked about the uh, chromosome. Even if you have a double copy of the of the complement uh, factor H, you still only have a tiny risk of this. In fact, people who live in these populations that live to be very, very old, they can have a double copy of uh, component factor H, and they still have a minuscule risk and a minuscule rate of incidence of macular degeneration. So what's going on here? If it's not age, if it's not genetics, if it's not our technology getting better, then what's going on? And we have to all just stop and think, have, have we evolved since 1910, since 1890? Have our genetics changed so much in 100, 120, 130 years that now we are susceptible to macular degeneration at such a rate that it's considered an epidemic? Most the, the average ophthalmologist today spends the majority of his or her time in clinic injecting retinas with Avastin and other um, things, other VEGF uh, inhibitors, trying to, to keep wet macular degeneration from getting worse or trying to prevent dry macular de degeneration from coming wet de macular degeneration, which is the worst kind. But what's going on? So when you look at the population data, you find that in populations that eat the most processed food, yep, you thought I'd get around to that? Well, here it is. But surprisingly, it's not. it doesn't look like it's the sugars and it doesn't look like it's the grains. It looks like it's the industrial seed oils. Populations that eat the most canola oil, the most Crisco, the most margarine, the most basically fake fat, factory manufactured fat, the most corn oil, the most soybean oil. These are the populations that first of all, have the lowest life expectancy. They're typically populations that live at or slightly above or below the poverty line. So this is poor people who eat a processed food diet that's who's getting macular degeneration. And if you look at just a, a map of the counties of the United States of America, the wealthiest populations, the, uh, the, the populations that live the longest, for example, Colorado, they actually have the lowest rate of macular degeneration in the country. And it's because of the seed oils. It's because of the margarine. It's because of the, I can't believe it's not butter. It's because of the country crock. Now, this may sound unbelievable to you. And I totally get that. I get that you're like, wait, what? If this were true, my ophthalmologist would be telling me about this. I get it. I'm going to link some research down in the show notes, and I'm going to link a video here and here that I want you to watch, especially if you have early or moderate macular degeneration, or maybe even more, if you have a relative a sibling, a mom or a dad, a, a grandparent who has macular degeneration, especially in the early stages before it's too late, please watch these videos and look at this research. This is out there, but the average ophthalmologist just doesn't know. They firmly believe in their honest heart of hearts that age-related macular degeneration is all about how old you are and all about your genetics, and they honestly don't believe that your food has very much to do with it at all. Now, most of them will sell you a, an eye supplement. This is based on a couple of studies that showed a tiny increase or a tiny slowing in macular degeneration progression if you took these supplements. 
it, it's a tiny finding and it didn't work for everybody. Some people's macular degeneration got worse while they were taking the supplements. The supplements are there. Take your, yeah, take them. That's fine. They're not going to harm you, but they're not going to help to the degree that you want to be helped. And I promise you don't want to be blind because you let macular degeneration go. So look at the research, watch the videos. I, I, I can't stress enough. It's the diet. It's the industrial seed oils. I'll probably make some more videos about macular degeneration in the near future because it, I, it's, I, it's completely preventable. We could go back to a rate, because currently in the U.S., I think one out of every three adults is going to develop macular degeneration. And if you're over 65, over 50% of you guys already have the early stages. Problem is, is if you don't go see an ophthalmologist and get a dilated eye exam, your family doctor just looking in the back with their, their pockets go, they may miss it, they may not see it. So if you're over 50, you really need to go get a dilated eye exam. And then if you have drusen, which is one of the very first hallmark signs that you may be developing macular degeneration, you've got to get started fixing your diet. Okay, guys, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.